Dead Roblox Train Game. Yes, you heard me right. Today we are going back into the world of the buggy, broken, barren, and forgotten world of Dead Roblox Train Games. The last video I did on this was pretty well received, and I got a lot of you guys asking me to do a second part, so why not? In this video, I'll be including even more Dead Roblox Train Games, which you guys suggested to me. Like the last video, I'll be going through them, explaining the life and death of these games. I'll also be going back to correct some points in the last video, so stay tuned. Well, without further ado, let's hop on to this even more Dead Roblox Train Games Express and explore some long-forgotten games. First on our list is a very well-known dead Roblox train game. Mane Friend Slate Rail Quarry Railway was a two-stud narrow-gauge slate railway located in the mountains of Snowdonia with a connection to the Builds e Coed Railway. This game was originally made in 2016 and was quite well made for a time with a high level of detail considering the time period. However, like a lot of games of the era, Roblox physics updates would slowly kill it until it fully died in 2018 or so. I'm not 100% sure. As of now, the game is a shell of its former self, almost all the engines in the game either don't work or barely function. The rolling stock does still work, but with no engines to pull them, they are pretty much useless. Something I just noticed is that Mana Friend seems to use the same assets that Simmer Whales also uses, mainly the water tower, the small house, and this abandoned building. To my knowledge, none of the people who worked on the game worked on Summer Whales, but I could be wrong. Tell me in the comments if I am, because I am really interested to know the connection between these two. Next up is the very well-known Mountain Lane Heritage Railway, another two-foot narrow-gauge game, this time set in the 1950s Wales. This game was originally made back in 2017 with a few remakes and revivals. For this video, I'll be focusing on the 2018 revival since that's the one I have the most time with. This game looks really good for a 2018 Roblox game, although I am not 100% sure if this is accurate or if these are revamps. The game, like many a train game, suffered from the Roblox physics updates and is now a buggy, broken mess of its former self. There is also some controversy, but I'm not going to get into that now. The game currently sits dead, however, Mr. C, the owner, has said that a total revamp is coming, so that's great to hear. A mountainous railroad, or simply KMR, is a mid-sized standard gauge line located somewhere in the US. This game primarily handles freight and passengers in the mountains with a fleet of mainly diesel electrics with some steam locomotives. This game was originally built back in 2013 with several shutdowns and revamps. The current version is surprisingly very functional with most of the rolling stock working perfectly, with the exception of the steam engines, which while they do work, they run really poorly similar to other old Roblox trains. The game doesn't seem to have died due to Roblox updates, it seems to have have mostly just been forgotten about by the general public and the owner just losing motivation to work on the game. As of now, you can play both the revamp and the old map, but I'm not sure what the condition of the original map is as I have not played it as of the making of this video. Amerton Light Railway is a two-stud narrow-gauge game based off the tramways of the UK and Ireland. The game was made back in 2017 and has certainly aged a lot. Only two engines really work with the rest no longer really working due to the Roblox physics updates destroying everything about old Roblox train games. As I know, the game is pretty much abandoned and forgotten about. I really can't add much as I've never really played it much and I've only learned about it quite recently, so... This information is coming from someone who's barely even touched the history of it. Next up is another standard gauge game, this one being Hampton Railroad. Hampton Railroad began development back in 2016 and was built on a 6 stud gauge. This game would run for a few years until, like all these games, Roblox updates would completely destroy it, leaving it in a pretty dead state. However, the game would be revived in 2020 and now all the engines work pretty well. Even so, the game is still sadly dead but more functional than a few of the games on this list. Surprisingly, we have a Thomas game on this list. This game is 12 Happy Engines by Evening Star Studios, a railway series-inspired Thomas game. 
This game was released back in 2020 and had uh, some really good looking Thomas engines based off the Railway series style. This game has since been shut down due to an update taking a long time and as of now the main game is closed. However, the sister game is still open and pretty much has all the engines from the original. As of now, the game is mostly functional, however some of the rolling stock and locomotives don't exactly work well due to some recent Roblox updates. As of now, the game isn't really played much, but it's still a really good game to check out. Before we get to our final game on this list, I'd like to give some honorable mentions to some games like I did in my last video. The Bloxville and Mainline Railway series is a collection of 8 stud rail lines located in the UK during the 70s slash 80s. This series of game began life back in early 2011 and have pretty much stayed the same style from what I can tell. These games aren't exactly dead, as it seems like a dedicated group of players will sometimes join in roleplay. I was once in a server and like 10 people joined along with the owner, I think. The games are really well made, but I wouldn't really consider them dead. Narrowway is a two-stud game made by Thomas Center. This game was originally open, but has since been shut down. Not much information is on this game besides it being a similar game to Simmer Whales. I can't really go into why the game got closed, as there is a lot of controversy surrounding the creator, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Train War is a battle game where two teams fight on two trains and try to destroy the other train completely. This isn't really a train game, but I decided to add it on here since it's you fight on trains and it is pretty ancient. As an the game is pretty much dead, but everything is still functional, so if you have a group of friends and you want to blow up some trains together, then this is the game for you. Ares and Handstretch was a two-stud game developed by West Wyvern and would be released in March of 2022. However, the game would be riddled with issues, mainly being grades being too steep, engines being broken, and West Wyvern having lost motivation for the game. The game would be shut down for good in March of 2023 when West Wyvern's PC would die. The alpha testing phase only lasted a day and was the first and only day it was open. As of now, the game is still closed and like last time, the only reason I'm able to get footage is because I'm friends with West Wyvern who actually asked for this game to be in this video, so this is for you, Wyvern. I hope you enjoyed your 5 minutes of fame. Last up on our list is a game which most of you will probably remember, that game being Hollywell Inclined Railway Classic by Shadow Architect. A two-foot narrow gauge game located in the UK, the first version of this game was created in 2017 and would be publicly released in 2020. The game was surprisingly very popular for the time, and the game would have a pretty good run up until about 2021. As of now, the game is completely dead with no sign of an update, however, a revamp is actually planned for the game and will arrive eventually. I remember I played it back in the day, thinking it was made by one of the Summer of Wales devs, which is pretty funny to think about. Overall, this game is not much, but it really is quite nostalgic since I played this back when I first returned to Roblox in about 2020. As I stated at the beginning of this video, in this section, I'll be going over some stuff that I either missed or got wrong about in part 1 related to the train games. In part 1, I said that the original Narrow Gauge Hills 2 game was shut down and replaced with 2.5, with no way to play the original Narrow Gauge Hills 2 game. However, since then, I have discovered that the original Narrow Gauge Hills 2 place has been re-uploaded on the Narrow Gauge Hills fan group under the name, The Game That Is Now A Bad Word 2, Build and Test. Most of the engines and rolling stock no longer work due to the constant Roblox updates, but it is pretty cool that the entire game has been re-uploaded. Next is the Whip Railway Revival Project. Now, I am not 100% sure about this, but I have since heard from the owner of Whip Railway that he did not in fact give access to anyone to remake the game, meaning that Jordan DT is either A, lying about the revamp, B, using a leaked place and fixing the game without Edison's permission, or C, they did get permission and Edison forgot, which I highly doubt is the third option. As for now, I wouldn't trust anyone who says that they are restoring Whip Railway, and unless Edison does decide to hire someone to fix the game, I would be wary with anyone claiming to be restoring the game. Well, that was quite a long video. Thank you all so much for watching this through to the end. I know this video may be quite long, and I'm sure some info here is wrong, so please comment down below. If you enjoyed this video and have other games I should check out, then please tell me in the comments below. Anyway, that's all for now. I'll see you all next time.